Hey everybody, Harris here, and today we have a whole list of hidden features uh, that weren't announced about iOS 12. So while Apple was talking about new space wallpapers for two minutes on the Apple TV, or talking about how you can stick out your tongue for an emojis, uh, they didn't mention some actually useful features. So let's talk about 10 features that are awesome about iOS 12 and what they mean. Alright, so starting out with number one is actually pretty huge. You can now have multiple faces on Face ID. Now technically this is supposed to be for different looks. So for instance, if you were somehow to drastically change your look from one day to the next, this is supposed to be able to identify you both ways, but I tested it with my sister. She can unlock my phone, I can unlock my phone. We couldn't do that before. You can now have multiple people unlock your phone with Face ID. So it's similar to having uh, multiple fingerprints. You obviously can't have five, but you can have two. All right, so up next is a really cool one. So if you know a lyric to a song, but you're not really sure what that song is called, you can search lyrics in the search option for Apple Music, and it will try to find that and pull up a song. So if I type in Walk a Lonely Road, we've got some Green Day coming up. Uh, so that's pretty cool for song recognition. I couldn't get it to work on my iPad. I'm sure it will soon, but on my iPhone, I could get that to work. That was pretty cool. So coming up next, we have two new options for Siri, and that's pretty cool. If you go in, you now have an Irish and South African voice. And now when you tap on it, it will also give you a little bit of a preview. So we're gonna try that out. Your virtual assistant. Thanks. I'm Siri. Nice. Your virtual assistant. I'm Siri. Cool. Your virtual assistant. Irish. I'm Siri. Your virtual assistant. South African. I'm Siri. Your virtual assistant. Nice. And those I'm are in. Siri. Your virtual assistant. Male and I'm female. I'm Siri. Your virtual assistant. Very I'm cool. Siri, Doesn't sound super assistant. Irish, but it's still cool that you now have those two options, and it gives you previews. So up next, you have the option for automatic software updates on your software for your phone. So maybe you have somebody like my mom who needs updates of when they come out so that it improves their phones, but doesn't really think to ever check it. You can turn this on, it'll automatically update their phone to the newest full version software, uh, so they don't have to worry about it. Up next would be SMS autofill. So you know when you have to send a code to your phone uh, in order to verify an account or something like that, now Apple will try to autofill that. If it sees a text message come in, it will do its best to autofill that into whatever you're trying to enter it into. So it's a nice system for autofilling with SMS codes. Additionally, there's now a new API to build in password managers right into autofill. So if you use one password or another application, uh, now when you are signing into an app, it'll give you autofill suggestions from your application. So that's a nice time-saving feature. Now this one's a pretty big one. We noticed right away on the iPad that it now has the iPhone 10 style gestures, swiping up to go close your apps, uh, swiping down in the corner to get to your control center. This means one thing. It means a full screen iPhone 10 style iPad is coming. Why would they update these gestures for a device that was never going to get uh, the build or the size or the stature or the full body's treatment of the iPhone 10? It basically confirms that we will be seeing that. We basically already knew it as well, uh, but this makes it very likely, and it's going to be awesome to see a full-screen iPad coming soon. Okay, up next, there's a feature called Live Listening, and it works with your AirPods. So another new feature in Control Center, you have the QR code, and uh, you have hearing aid options for Control Center. When you tap on Control Center, when you have your AirPods in, you now have a Live Listening feature, which basically turns your iPhone into a listening station for your AirPods. So when you have your AirPods in your ear, uh, people can talk into this, your iPhone, and it will aid in the hearing aid, which is really cool. And you can use this now as a hearing aid extension. So that's awesome. Now we have a bunch of new battery settings for your iPhone. If you go in there, there's tons of settings. There's graphs. It looks a lot like Android, which is nice because it gives you just more details and features about what you're using on your phone and how you're using it when it's dying. It's a nice graph to see what points during the day did die the most. They didn't really talk about that, so it's awesome to see increased battery settings. Now you can also use Hey Siri. Hope I didn't trigger anything, and I triggered two devices. Uh, you can use that in low power mode, so if you still want to live on the edge and have Siri at a yell away or a hey away, uh, you can do that now in low power mode. All right, and that is it. Those are 10 features, I think, uh, for the iPhone 10 and the iPad that are new to iOS 12 that Apple didn't talk about. I think some of these are super awesome. And if you think so too, make sure to share this video. Give it a thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you learned anything new and you can check me out on Twitter and check me out on iDownloadBlog where I have some other iOS 12 content. I'll catch you guys in the next one.